Wherefore, Series 3, Episode 38. Some weeks are quiet. Some weeks, Stroud is faced with another epic battle between good and evil, another conflict with the potential to overturn the world as we know it. Sometimes what we get is a fight between one weird thing and another weird thing, where no one is quite sure what is at stake or which side, if any, they should be on. Swiss hawk roll moths are rare and as such attract the sympathies of conservationists, hippies and anyone who self-identifies as well-meaning. They are also voraciously hungry and will eat anything or anyone, thus attracting the violent rage of anyone interested in not being chewed to death. Startlement turnips, on the other hand, are subtle and subtly sinister. Their withered skins make them look ever more like the heads of corpses, and some of them are developing faces. Unfortunately, we've all been exposed to a pop culture that pairs virtue with beauty and evil with looking really alarming. It's hard to look at the shriveled heads of the startlement turnips and not perceive them as outrage horrors. Is it fair to judge them aesthetically or should we wait and see what they do? It may be a bit of an assumption to think that they could do anything except moulder and shrivel further and become more hideous than ever, but... This is a wherefore episode, and after all, and by now you are probably used to the idea that you can't trust inanimate objects to stay still, and that anything at all might turn out to have opinions. The startlement turnips have all sorts of opinions. Some of them like dark cupboards, while others are becoming bored and plotting escape. Some of them crave feet. Others think it would be nice to have wheels. A few have taken to eating the other decomposing vegetables in their habitat, but so far, this time, the turnips have not turned on each other. Many of them are discovering that people scream and panic on seeing them and that this creates opportunities for escape, be that rolling, bouncing or trotting. None of them have definite feet yet, but many of them have rooty appendages that can be used to get around. The Swiss hawk roll moth moths are rather simple entities. They eat. They are building up to reproduction. There's not much complexity or nuance in their heads. Their faces look oddly benevolent, but this is an evolutionary strategy to encourage their prey to stay still for longer and thus be easier to catch. The Swiss hawk roll moths give this no actual thought. They do not wonder what goes on in a person's head in the moments before that head is bitten off. They do not wonder about their food. And they don't even think that much about the difference in flavour between badger and cat, dog and human. They just eat, and eating makes them happy in a rather gentle and bland sort of way. Emotionally speaking, they are rather like bland jam sponge all the way through. The question you are no doubt eager to ask is what happens if a startlement turnip gets into a fight with a Swiss roll hawk moth? Who would win? Would the moth bother to eat a turnip if it has gained a taste for flesh and blood? Would it mistake the bog body face of a turnip for something that was not essentially a root vegetable? Would the turnip prove indigestible? Would it fight back? Could it fight back? Who doesn't want to see unlikely entities in a fight to the death? Especially when you've no emotional investment in the question of who wins. Perhaps if the turnips win, you will decide to ignore their hideous faces in gratitude for their removing the Swiss hawk roll moth threat. Perhaps if the moth wins, you will feel a moment of gratitude that the grotesque turnip faces have been eradicated before you flee for your life. How would such a fight occur? 
The caterpillars entered their cocoon stage in the empty rooms of a closed nightclub. It still smells faintly of pee from all those years it was twisted fix. Despite the best efforts of its most recent owner to drive out the ghosts of Slash's past. The moths are untroubled by the echo of the days when the toilet floors ran wet and stinking. Eventually, the moths wake up on a Saturday, able to smell all the food items at the farmer's market and all the food items in human form who were innocently shopping. The moths emerge. Their wings are immense, matched only by their hunger. They fall upon Stroud, mouths open wide and eager to feed. Do the startlement turnips rise up to save the people from this threat? Do they magically transform at just the right moment to become the heroes we need? They do not. The only reason you think they might is that I have set you up to imagine this is going to be an epic battle between moths and turnips. It is not. The Swiss hawk roll moth is actually rather complicated from a conservation perspective. It is rare, after all. Genetically speaking, it's all that remains of the much smaller cupcake hawk moth, which got its sustenance by licking bees. During the Cold War, the cupcake hawk moth was ruthlessly bred to develop this more aggressive and carnivorous form. The official stance in the UK is that the release of these moths was a Russian plot. Russia has always claimed that America was responsible for developing them. America's line has always been that they were an accidental byproduct of the nuclear industry and quite unintended. Whatever the truth of the matter is, it is certainly the case that the Swiss hawk roll moths are a very retro sort of monster, not well equipped for life in the 21st century. This is no doubt why, after only a little while flying about and menacing people, something causes their heads to explode. By this means, the people who said all along that 5G was dangerous get to feel smug. And the people who said it was an excellent idea also get to feel smug. <laughs>